Hello everyone, it is day two of my Let's Make a Sourdough Starter. So I'm gonna open this from day one. I did stir it once last night when I got home from work. So this is day two. So if you can see there, we actually already have some bubbles. So that is pretty cool. This is seriously just flour and water. It's currently 11.45 on Tuesday, April, not Tuesday, it's not Tuesday, it's Friday. Friday, <laughs> April 29th. I don't know how many hours that is. Yesterday I made this at like 7.45 a.m. And I stirred it last night late, which was like, I probably stirred it at like nine or 10. We're gonna give it a little stir and we are going to feed it. I'm gonna actually give it a smell and just see what it smells like. It still just smells like warm flour and water. It doesn't have any kind of fermented smell yet. So this is all it is. So this is really, Gosh, what is that? Like three tablespoons total in there. It's not very much. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a little water and flour for the feeding today. I'm not gonna do any discarding. It's just such a small amount that we really don't need to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of water and flour. We're gonna use just bread flour again today. And at some point I might add in this rye flour, but we'll see. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna add just the water first. And this is just water from our well. Nothing fancy. If you do have city water, I would highly recommend just using um, like a bottled water of some sort. City water has chlorine and fluoride in it, and I would just advise not to use that in your starter. It can affect the results, and you really don't want to put that in your body anyway. So, um, all right, so we're just going to give it a little bit. I think I'm going to try to double it. So, we're going to loosen it up. Just do a little bit at a time. I'm gonna add a little bit more, it's still a bit runny. We're looking for pancake batter consistency here. Ooh, that's looking good. All right, kind of a thick consistency pancake batter here. That is what we're looking for. As it sits, it will loosen up as the water absorbs the flour. And as it continues to collect that wild yeast in the air, it will start to loosen up for you. So here's where we're at today. This is day two. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and let it sit again. So I will touch back again tomorrow.